we have with us one of the interesting examples uh, of, you know, youth making action and also youth getting opportunities. And we're talking about opportunities for finance and leveraging all those opportunities to make impact. So we have from the Zayed Sustainability Prize, the next talk will be about from ideas to action and how to empower youth to change the world. So uh, I welcome you and give you the floor. Hello, I'm uh, Deep Janahi from the Bahrain Bayan School. The race towards sustainability is not one that requires singular action. Rather, uh, it requires a plur pluralistic approach on a transnational scale. The Zayed Sustainability Prize is an annual prize given to global high schools, small to medium-sized enterprises and non-profit organizations to carry on the legacy of Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, the founding father of Un the United Arab Emirates, uh, who had a vision for global sustainability and believed on implementing uh, sustainable actions uh, for uh, in society. Aydu Janahi from the Bahrain Bayan School, a winner of the Zayed Sustainable Prize in 2018, is standing in front of you today to emphasize the impact of sustainable action on our global society. The prize uh, transcends into five distinct categories, ranging from health, food, water, energy, and global high school. The prize is awarded to different regions around the world, ranging from America to Southeast Asia. As for my school, we have won in the Middle East and North African region. I would like to shed light upon the projects implemented in my school, which is much more than a project itself. It is a way of life. Ecolab 360 comprises of transforming our, pro our school cafeteria into a fully sustainable cafeteria, into a fully sustainable cafeteria built upon the five R's. Reduce, reuse, uh, recycle, renewable energy, and raise awareness. Uh, the project involves recycling food waste as well as uh, integrating a grey water recycling system and generating electricity using solar panels and photovoltaic cells while also incorporating uh, wind turbines uh, into this 360 degree mechanism. Uh, we wanted to have all green technologies under one roof for students uh, to, ha to have a hands-on experience um, about uh, on implementing sustainable actions uh, in society. Uh, students, community members, and leaders is, uh, had the opportunity to visit the Ecolab 360 and sign the sustainability pledge to maintain and attain a sustainable lifestyle. Uh, this mind map depicts the, the different ways in which food waste and water is recycled in our project as 50% of organic waste is recycled in, compost, uh, in a composter. Uh, and as a result, the fertilizers are used for agricultural purposes. And the other 50% is then uh, used in a biogas generator. Water is also recycled using the gray water recycling system. Uh, the treated gray water is then used uh, for, the treated gray water is then used for uh, irrigation and vertical farming. And last but not least, wind turbines and solar, pan uh, solar panels generate electricity for use within, for use within our facility. Uh, these statistics show uh, the impact of our projects within our school. Uh, the solar panels and wind turbines generate around 82,000 kilowatt hours per year and we recycle around 30,000 uh, liters of water per month, and the treated water is then used uh, for irrigation purposes, and 50% of organic waste is composted, and the fertilizers are then used. 
uh, as shown uh, as shown from the statistic from the statistics we can infer that our short-term impacts have been fulfilled as we conserve and recycle the water in our school we generate electricity uh, uh, through using uh, solar panels and wind turbines and we also recycle more than 1,000 kilograms of food per month Our long-term impacts are to raise awareness in community as students have had the hands-on experience uh, to implement sustainable practices within our school. They have exposure uh, to the gray water recycling system and energy production uh, within our school. And we have transcended the borders of our country uh, by using social media to emphasize the impact of sustainable actions uh, on our global society. Um, more uh, moreover, I would like to uh, say that uh, this has been a very uh, nice chance to talk at COP27, and it's not only inspired me uh, to implement sustainable actions uh, in my community, but I also initially uh, implemented a green technology within my household, and I also aspire to go into the scientific field and find solutions to reduce uh, biomedical waste uh, on the environment and create prototypes, uh, which are not only humanitarian friendly, but they also, um, but th but they're also environmentally friendly as well. And uh, thank you. Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. Can you hear me? My name is... Uh, okay, let's take that again from the top. Hi, everybody. My name is Jesse Forrester. I'm the founder and CEO of a company called Mazi Mobility, but I'm also a Zayat Sustainability Prize winner. And I'm going to talk to you about taking idea to initiative and the role of youth in empowering and doing action. So my story really starts in Johannesburg, South Africa, back in 2019. I won the Zayat Sustainability Prize, and this is my project. This is a living machine. It filters gray water and turns it into reusable water, and we took a section of the school off the grid. So we had a solar panel that ran this machine. We had biogas digester that produced energy for cooking. And we also ensured that we were able to pour water into a river that was here for natural ecosystems. The impact of this was over 300 kiloliters of water filtered annually with over 2 million liters to date, equipped with this biogas digester and powered by solar. The idea with this project was to give me a landing spot to really move on to the next step, which introduces my current company, Mazi Mobility. Mazi Mobility is an electric mobility company based in Nairobi, Kenya. We assemble and sell electric motorcycles, but we also build and deploy infrastructure to support them. There are over 1.6 million motorcycles in Kenya, 5 million in East Africa. You can imagine the scale of pollution. Every entrepreneur has a story of where he began. Steve Jobs started in his garage. I started in my living room. The first 10 motorcycles were assembled in my living room. You can see this is Caleb. This is a chair. This is a window. And from there, we've actually had a bit of success with the team growing to over 13 people. Having a financial incentive for sustainability really is what is required to take initiative or ideas into action. We've now deployed over 10 motorcycles and are doing 60 by the end of this year. Inshallah, we're going to be doing 1,000 by the end of 2023 and 5,000 after that. And I just really want to make a really key assertion here. There's talk around climate and sustainability solutions, but on the continent, they have to be paired with a financial incentive. The average African doesn't really care about climate change. I'm going to say that truly. What they care about is how they're able to feed themselves. So we need to pair solutions that enable financial independence with climate to opportunities, and this is why Mars is such an interesting company. 
So as I said, we've got 10 bikes, 60 motorcycles, 13,000 swaps, and I've averted over 1,000 tons of CO2 with just 10 motorcycles. I also want to let you know that the Zad Sustainability Prizes cycle is opening up pretty soon. Jude mentioned the amount of funding opportunities it gives you, but also the exposure and the ability to take your idea to initiative. So I encourage you to apply at Zad Sustainability Prize, and please join us as some of the winners. Thank you very much.